Well, hello there. Welcome back to uh, M&M &M Model Railways uh, YouTube channel. The M&M &M stands for, first of all, Michael, or first of all, Michelle. Michelle's my wife. So we're uh, building a uh, in-scale layout, as you can see right here. Put that camera down a little bit so you can see uh, the whole thing. Let's actually drop that down so you can see the fascia. There's a lot, lot's been going on here, so I just want to talk you through what I'm, what I'm doing. In my last video, you seen uh, um, I hooked up the uh, DCC buzz line underneath the train table. Well, now I want to show you this aspect right here. So as you can tell, we have a uh, sleeve for it, and uh, everything works. Um, we are hooked to uh, track power, so. Uh, um, when that track power comes on, that gives me uh, the NC controller. And as you can tell, my steam train is uh, powering up back there. It's on the uh, outside loop. We have uh, some uh, buttons right at our uh, um, accessibility. We have uh, what's called a horn and a whistle. And I don't really have a whistle, but we do have a bell. I guess that might be the whistle. So this is set for a loco uh, number three. And uh, we're at Ford. But what I'd like you to do before uh, I operate that train is I'd like you to uh, watch these messages. It's going to ask you to subscribe to our channel and it'll show you how. So. We'll uh, operate this uh, steam locomotive and show you how the DC works right here in just a minute. I just uh, love that sound. So, got everything hooked up. We've got uh, two of our uh, um, spur track lights that are working. Let me go ahead and fire this up. So, we're going to go forward. We can speed him up. And let's stop him right there. That's a his idle sound because he's idling. What I like to do is I like to go on the other side of you and throw that switch so you can see him come to the inside. Let's do that right now. Um, that Kato power pack will have that hooked up here in a minute. So we're going to throw this switch and this switch so we can cross over to the inside loop. Like I said, that Kato power pack will uh, have that all hooked up here pretty quick. But I got some other things I want to finish first. All right, let's go ahead and uh, start him up. Always want to do uh, two of the whistles before we uh, um, start up. That's the bell right there. But this is a whistle. 
So then we want to go ahead and uh, go. Whenever I go through a crossing, I want to do some bells and then blow it through the crossing. Part of what I learned in the railroad. I'll talk to you about that when I get a diesel locomotive online. But let's go ahead and cross him over there. Now he's on the inside main. And he derails right there. I wanted to show you that for a reason. If you don't have your uh, turnout and throw quick, um, carefully, um, it's going to short out its system. So what I do is I just push it back on the line. Then I'm going to back him up, change direction, back him up. Then I'm going to throw that switch so he can go through there now. Now you're going to notice because I don't have that uh, switch thrown again over here, I got to go over there and throw it. So watch what happens if I don't throw that switch. See, he, he dead ends right there. That's putting him back on the other side. Now, if I go back over here and I throw this switch, he'll go ahead and come through it. Now he's back on the back side main again. But now we've got to slow him down and make sure that that uh, switch back there is lined for uh, both uh, lines. And that's what I don't understand is uh, if, if it's not thrown quite correctly, so we don't want it to do, you know, the crossover, we want it to go straight through there. So now we got straight through shot, straight through shot, straight through shot. So he should be able to go back on that line again. Let's see if he does it. It's not really a build, it's actually just learning how to run it and uh, run the track and everything. And if you have your switches thrown wrong, it's gonna it's gonna stop because it's uh it picks up a short circuit in there. So now we're going straight through there the way we need to go. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and uh, move the camera to the far end of the table so you can see um, a different angle. Let me let me move the camera for you. All right, now you're on the, what I'm calling the east end of my layout. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, run them again. And can turn his sound off. Now you turn his DCC sound off and he's still cruising around the track as you can see.
That's the joy of the DCC locomotive. That's uh, why I got it. But he won't even back up through the inside uh, turnouts because he's got too many of those uh, areas that have to turn, those wheels that have to turn. He won't even back up through that area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to order a uh, different kind of locomotive that's a four axle locomotive and uh, that will allow me to uh, do my switching operations. So that's that's about it for uh, the uh, this video and uh, we are up running DCC and we've got it wired up. It runs on both tracks as you see. The next thing I'm going to do is finish the inside of that little barn. So I uh, want you to join me in the next video and let's finish the inside of that barn and let's uh, light it up so we can see inside of it from the outside. Please subscribe to this channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing and uh, you hit that bell icon. You'll get a notification every time one of our videos uh, gets posted and then uh, or gets uploaded, I should say. And then you won't miss any part of this build. So I'm almost to a place where uh, we're going to have to stop building once we get down from here to there because we're going to have to expand this way. So check back in another video. Let's work on that barn.